Welcome to Google Docs episode 2. In this video tutorial, I will show you how hackers use Google Docs to find sensitive information and vulnerable services. The link to the previous tutorial made on the same topic is given below in the description box. You can check it out from there. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now let's have a look at some of the basic Google operators that are used as a doc or docs. So the first one we have here is site. Site is used to denote a specific site. In title, you can use a keyword here that is present in the title of that particular web page and you will get all certain related results, relevant results related with that title. In, in URL, it only shows those results which contains the keyword in their URL. In text, the keyword that contains in text or in text format file type it denotes the file type or file extension you want to see in the search results now let's look at let's have a look at some google docs made by combining this basic google search operators so the first one we have here is in title colon index uh, colon inverted commas open index of in url colon ftp after 2018 this doc will show you some results of site directories that are indexed in Google by mistake because the parent directory and other critical directories should be only visible to the should be only visible and accessible to the site owners. So let's check out this doc. and you can see here the critical directories are listed so let's check out a parent directory here so this is just an example of parent directories and all other directories critical directories listed here as you can see I can easily browse to the parent directories which is which should be only visible to the site owners but it is also visible to me so this is a vulnerable service this is a vulnerable website so the next so the next talk is also related to the same result so let's try it out as well so as you can copy it from here and you can paste it it is also given in my website you can check out my website the link is given in the description below that was ftp and this is http as you can see i can easily browse to the parent directory of the website which should be only visible to the site owners and site developers but it is visible to anyone who is searching through the directories this doc will show you some results of the directories that are indexed in google by mistake by crawling so the next directory is so the next doc as you can see in the video screen is all in text it will show you password using this doc you can find out some log files exposed to the internet including their username and password This contains password of the password of some username and password log of some websites of some vulnerable websites. Which is exposed to the internet. The next and the most important the most important and most interesting thing is you can also find a vulnerable website's configuration file <coughs> by using this doc file type colon env db underscore password after 2018 that is for the recent year recent year after 2018 so you can copy it and let's check it and as you can see there are many results
and there is the vulnerable file of this website crbiond something.org <coughs> and, and you can see here app name app env app key and everything which should not should, should not be visible to any google user except the site owner so this is a vulnerable site the database password is also mentioned here with the database username and all those details which should not be visible to us you can find email list using this doc file type colon xls in url emails dot xls Let's download an email list for sample. From the previous talk, we have also downloaded an PPT file, so let's check it out. From the parent directories, we have downloaded it, which is the confidential data of the website, which should not be visible to the normal users, which should be only visible to the employees, but we can also see it for the site is vulnerable to directory listing vulnerability so this is the email list I have downloaded here so let's check it out this contains the email list of the website which should not be visible to any normal user except the employees and site owner but as this service is vulnerable this website is vulnerable so we can find out this info using Google Docs You can also find vulnerable cameras, vulnerable CCTV cameras using this talk. So let's check it out. So this is the vulnerable camera link. Let's check out another link. Let's check out another dot we have here. So this was all about today's video. Please like and share this video and subscribe my channel for regular updates related to technology, cybersecurity, and ethical hacking. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one.